Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We do have an active sky. The thing is though that key areas of your chart are being activated. It is the very top of your sky and the very foundation of your chart. Now you add to this, it is Neptune doing the big activations now. Neptune of course being your ruling planet and in your sign. All may not necessarily be clear but you will connect to what matters most. And what matters most is the spirit of spirituality, of compassion and of art. You may find your spiritual powers especially high right about now, but you'll be able to use them in a way that serves you and others. So let's start with the new moon. As we start this month, right around the third of the month, give or take a day, on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon will take place at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, and it will be speaking with Neptune in your sign. This is a conversation of tension and it denotes a time when all may not be as it seems on the surface. Now this energy can play out in terms of where you live. So buying, selling, moving, new roommate. It can work out in terms of a home-based business if you work from home or with homes, but also where it comes to your family of origin, your parents in particular. So here's the thing. When we have energy that is this confusing really if i may say it is uh that much more suggested that maybe you don't make any kind of big consequential decisions at this time especially where it comes to these areas that i mentioned because it is these very areas where there may be key details that you are overlooking and where it comes to contracts that surround home uh, that surround buying selling or moving now that surround workplace businesses that's where you want to be especially careful because there may very well be some key details in those contracts that are not clear just yet but will become so in the fullness of time but it could also be as simple as what you want may change where you want to be may change as well and what it is that you're hoping for your expectations may be very disconnected from the reality of the situation Throughout this month, with Neptune in your sign being activated, chances are you may be seeing particular situations much more idealistically than they deserve, or it can also go the other way, more pessimistically than they deserve as well. And when we have energy like this, the opportunity that you feel is not uh, for you or doesn't seem to sit right could actually be the thing that ends up being the best opportunity there is but that's not going to become clear right away and that may be another reason that your best bet is to try not to make any kind of real solid commitments just yet especially where it comes to these areas that i have just mentioned and especially in the early part of the month now it is going to be right around the 8th that Venus is going to move into this foundational part of your sky as well. There'll be a lot of love on the home front. So that's really great. It's great in terms of uh, wanting to beautify your home as well. And even though we are going to have a moment this month when Venus speaks with Neptune, especially as we navigate later this month, other than that, home is going to be a space where you absolutely feel the heart is. Now, I also wanna to add to this. It is right around this time that you may get some news in regards to a parent. Remember, all may not be as it seems, and what that means is if it feels like some area of concern shows up, it may not be the case, okay? This is only gonna to apply to a small percentage of Pisceans out there, but if it feels like there is some area of concern where it comes to a parent or someone in your family of origin, uh, know that it would be very wise and very good to wait things out a little bit to get another opinion because things could look very different in just a few weeks time. Now I'm not promising you that you'll get a clear answer in a, a snap right away. And the reason for that is that 
As we navigate later into the month, right around the 20th is when Mercury will enter shadow, which means Mercury retrograde is next month, right around the corner. And so this adds another layer to the fact that the information may not be correct this month that you get, but there's every reason for hope. There's every reason for faith that things will turn out remarkably well. Now, as we navigate further into the month, right around the 18th is when we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening at the very top of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. It has to do with the goals that you have for your life and any kind of interview or audition situation. It's also a part of the sky that has to do with rewards and accolades as well. Now, Neptune is speaking to this full moon also. Neptune is very active, as I said. And within days of this full moon, Neptune will go retrograde. So at the full moon, Neptune is standing still in the sky in the height of its power. It looks like you have a lot of faith, a lot of belief, a lot of hope that things can go remarkably well. And they can, of course. Jupiter is close by to this full moon. However, there again may be some key details there that are not being seen clearly and so it would be a good approach at this time to practice gratitude to practice humility the opportunity that you think is the one for you and the greatest thing that could happen may actually turn out to be something very different the opportunity that you feel is not for you and you're not really sure about it could turn out to be the best thing but it's not going to be clear just yet and so where possible, pace yourself. Try not to make any kind of real solid agreements. Avoid signing contracts if you can. I understand that's not always possible. And in that case, you have to trust your life. You'd be amazed how often we can actually change our mind, even when we tell ourselves that we can't. Very often we can. But what is really phenomenal about this energy is that it encourages you to look at your own fears where it comes to what it is that you hope to achieve, the goals that you have for your life, how high it is that you desire to go and what legacy you hope to create for yourself. It is a month like this that asks you to connect with a voice that is more honest, more true that asks you to align with a higher, more loving vision for your life, to see past your fears, to see them for what they are, just fear, and instead align with spirit, align with soul, and the compassion that you bring to others, make sure that you're shining it on yourself as well, because that ultimately will be the thing that shines your pathway forward. Where it comes to matters of love, I'm being brought back to that Neptune in the height of its energy, the height of its power, but also you'll be seeing things much more idealistically, filled with hope and filled with a desire to be swept away. Now you may actually be swept away with a month like this uh, in emotion, in desire, in romance as well as Neptune is considered the higher vibration of Venus. However, there's not a lot of grounded energy here just yet. I do really like that Neptune and Saturn are going to be holding a beautifully harmonious connection. I think this bodes well for the bigger picture, the longer term. But this ultimately means that the stability is within you, that the stability is ultimately going to be found within yourself through your friends who are going to remind you of what it means to have a more balanced perspective. So when you feel like you're getting carried away on hope, on wishes, on romance as well, make sure you're sharing your journey with people that you trust because they will provide you with that just right counterpoint to keep you a little grounded. Just a little, not too much so that you don't enjoy it, but enough so that you're able to decide the best course of action for you. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, yes, being swept away, very possible under a sky like this. Venus will move into this foundational part of your sky where we will have the new moon early this month. And what that says is that the past may beckon and it may very well be a spirit of nostalgia that is there. Some of you might even connect with someone that you cared about in the past. 
for those of you who are getting to know somebody, um, if you are just starting to date somebody, this is going to be a sense of wanting to be more familiar with this person, wanting to be more at home with this person. Now, the connection may or may not actually be there, if I'm being straightforward with you, but it looks like you're having fun in the journey of finding out. And for those of you who are in an established bond, uh, what a powerful time to be at home together. There may be a lot of wishing, there may be a lot of hope, but there can also be heightened expectations that maybe cannot necessarily be met. But you will, of course, come to understand each other more and navigate your pathway forward. What I love about this month for you, I'm going to say Neptune going retro in your sign. Now, I know that probably no other astrologer would say that to you. Why would that be something to love? It's so ungrounded and energy, but it can also be positively inspired. It can be an energy that reminds you to dream and that it's okay to get carried away. Of course, you're going to want to watch your own emotions, make sure that that you are balancing them out with that counterpoint that I mentioned. But for all that, this can be a truly inspired and hopeful time. A time where you come to understand that there is love in the world for you, but most of all, there is love within yourself. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.